Hey everyone, welcome back. So in our last video, we built a quick home page, and I am actually going to build another page. I was thinking about building like the product image page or product like description page. We'll just call it product page for now until we figure out a better name for that. So we got product page and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna start copying some of the stuff that we made. I mean, this is where using these types of things comes in really handy. Okay. So what do I have here? I have 40%. Let's just copy that. And when I think about the product page, so I've just laid out my navigation because I may repeat it there. I don't know yet. I'm not sure what's going to be best for this page just yet. I'm going to go and reference some of my, do I have a product page here? My sitemap? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. So I'm going to actually go to my user flows. So I have my product page here and what I see is I probably have like a full screen image. I may have some like, you know, similar products. I obviously have a description of some sort. There's probably going to be much more there. Some content there. Let's take a look at my sketches as well. So that's making a purchase. Okay. So let's take a look at my sketches. So yeah, I do have like an image with the content, an add button. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, okay. So, this is gonna give me a little bit to start off from. Okay, so let's take a look at what we can do. I'm just going to start copying some content here. We're gonna just remove this, you know, we'll keep the price. So maybe we'll keep that for now. Uh, I think we can keep that. So we can definitely create our own. I think that's fine to be like featured there. We're going to create some. So I'm thinking like a carousel is going to be here or something just so users can see multiple images. Okay, so we have that. What else do we have? Let's turn on. So I'm just going to actually make a grid style. So I'm just going to call it grid. And I'm going to bring that grid into here as well. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so we have a grid and we're just going to give this a generic product name. That's cool. It's not going to expand more than that amount. Maybe we'll have uh, some copy in terms of like the description. Let's build this over here. So price is of the utmost importance. That's my assumption right now. I was thinking maybe something along the lines of like 18 pixels. Yeah, okay, maybe bold. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so we have our price, we have our product name. I think that's a good start. Let's think about like maybe we'll need a button. Oh, okay, perfect. We can use this. So what we can do is we can actually like make this button ours. If we wanted to, we can just, I'm going to go over here and I press option command B and that's just going to detach that instance and we'll be able to essentially do what we kind of want to with it. We'll have to do the same option command B. You can also right click and detach instance. So you can do that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that in. Add to cart. I like it. That's good. Okay, so we have our big button here that just says add to cart. Let me turn off this grid so we can see it better. 
Okay, and now a little description here. So I'm going to just go to my Lorem Ipsum plugin. Maybe like three sentences worth. Okay, and 16 regular. Oh, that's a little big. So maybe like 14 regular for text like that. Okay. And like, obviously it's not looking beautiful, beautiful, but I mean, we can start seeing like how the hierarchy of this page set up. So when they do come here, they're gonna see this big like call to action or CTA button to instantly add this to our cart. They'll be able to like it if they want to. They'll get all the details they need right up front. They'll be able to even swipe through a carousel. What else should we give them? When I think of product pages, I'm thinking about reviews. Definitely reviews. But let's think of how we can lay out reviews. Let's go to our assets. Perfect. Actually, let's just grab that. We can detach this instance. We can just delete these. We don't need them. So what I like to do is sometimes, I mean, because it's such a vague component library, it's not gonna suit all our needs. I don't expect it to really. But we can just start like using the components and then just like editing them, removing them. We don't need to necessarily keep them the way they are just because, I mean, at the end of the day, you need to use it the way it's going to work for you. So don't just stick to it, even though it's a pain. So edit it in any which way you need. Okay, so we have a name that I just randomly came up with. What we can do is maybe have like an avatar. Oh, perfect. I mean, we can use a real image or we can just use something like that for now. Maybe like the name goes beside it or below it. Okay. Okay, that's good for now. This is just going to be confined to the size of the content. And what we're going to do here is we're going to maybe like the date. Maybe it's a dated review. Like we need to start thinking about these types of little pieces of content. So I want a date on here. We need a name, most definitely, or username or whatever we decide to go with. So the name can be like that. We have our stars. So we have like a five star, just a general one. Okay, we can even copy this down here. And amazing, this can be like the title of the review. Amazing product. Let's bold that. can copy this down here. So like, as you can tell, like my workflow is pretty quick now that I have all the pieces I kind of need. And like, there you go. We kind of have a review already built. So just don't get bogged down by too many details. Worry about the type of content you're working with. So I'm going to just group this and just call it review and put it right here. And we can just copy and paste it. And right now I'm just going to think about, okay, three reviews. If there's here, let me just fix this. Just got to fix the constraint top and left is fine. Okay. So there we go. Yeah. So just think about the type of content you need. Like I was just thinking about reviews. What do I often expect? I expect the user's name. I expect like maybe an image possibly not required. Definitely the review. So if we're going based off of stars, 
going to need that. Maybe like a title and some content, like their actual review is helpful. Maybe they have images in a review. So I need to maybe think about that in the future. But for now, for our V1 or our version one, we are just going to stick to this. So maybe like there's a secondary button and it says something along the lines of see more reviews. And there we go. So we already have like our product information, we have reviews. And I think maybe like the last kind of bit would be to have Let's bring this, so like we created this before and we can just reuse it and call it like similar products. So if they don't like this product, maybe they'll find another one that they do like. And without the actual description. And there you go. I mean, we've just come up with our own product page pretty quickly just by kind of like thinking about the details that we wanted on this page really quickly. Definitely we needed a name, we needed imagery and the ways to kind of customize that. I'm probably missing some things. I'm guaranteeing you I'm missing some things. There's probably stuff like what happens if this certain product has like options like color. So we need to also think about that maybe sizing if it's like a shirt or something like that or shoes so we need to think about all those different types of options i think reviews is pretty solid for now similar products looks pretty solid see more reviews i have to think about that interaction will it go to a new page will it just expand so there's definitely a lot of work to do here but i think this is very good for like a first pass so what I would do here is just kind of like bring your teammates in, get their feedback on this, you know, maybe even start testing with some people if you can, if you have the time. So this is how you make a quick product page in Figma using our library. In the next video, we're going to create one more page.